Hey, y'all, so I have so many head wraps and different scarves that I've collected. And I wore these during the phases of my locks being super, super short when they were in the baby stage. So I'm going to show y'all how I rocked them. So make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and you follow me on Instagram. It's that Brie G. Let's get right on into it. So y'all see how short my locks were? This was like April of 2020. And I had just locked my hair in January, January 29th. So it has not, basically that's February. So February, March, April, so like almost three months, but not really. So make sure you have everything you need for your edges. So I have a stocking cap, I have my edge control, my Gorilla Snot, and my brush like I do now. And with these styles, you don't have to worry about doing the rest of your hair, obviously, because it's gonna be covered with a hat or a scarf or what have you. So just make sure your edges look good. That's why I got these too, because a lot of my locks, you know, they were all at different stages. Like some of them were budding, some of them weren't. They were really skinny. They weren't really thick yet. So honestly, y'all know a lot of people say embrace it, but y'all, I kept something over my head. But, but if you see like my earlier video, my quarantine lock, I started my locks during quarantine. So I really didn't have to go out that much, but I was working at the hospital um during quarantine and i had to leave the house um i wasn't i was one of the essential workers so i had to leave so i had to do something um so even if i wasn't going out you know out out like i went outside i still had to go to work so i had to do something so now i'm just doing my edges um i was using some kind of edge control the little donut you saw that was edge control i didn't really use that that much um, I'm very picky about edge controls because all edge controls aren't created equal. Anyway, so once I kind of get that down the way I want it, I make sure I kind of brush it backwards so that the band of my stocking cap kind of sits on it. And then I kind of pull it back so it can have a little slicker look. I don't know if that makes sense, but you'll kind of see. So make sure all your locks are tucked away. It was pretty easy for me, y'all, because they were so little. I've come a long way, y'all. I'm glad I documented my baby lock stage because y'all must see my videos of me now, but I want y'all to see where I started. Like, it's not an overnight thing. Starting the trenches. So you see how I kind of helped pull it back. So now I'm going to go in and just get the hairs the way I want. I'm going to post a video um, soon, but I had just retwisted my hair. I have a retwist video from when I was in my baby lock stage. So I'm going to post that video soon. So I had just I had just retwisted my hair the night before. That's why I look so fresh. I was having to do my own retwist too at the beginning of my lock stage because quarantine happened. Like as soon as I got my retwist, I won't say as soon. I think I got like one or two retwists, maybe one. Well, I got the I got the initial appointment to do the coils, and then that was January, so February, I think I got a retwist, and then after that, I was on my own. If that, I don't even know, I can't even remember. So I was having to do my own retwist, y'all. So I had did a fresh retwist on this, so that's why I look like this. So I really didn't have that much hair to kind of lay down and like do baby hairs. And I didn't want to pull them out because I'm in the beginning stages of my locks. Like I need these to lock up. It's already hard enough because I was coloring my hair. So it was kind of prolonging the process. But yeah. I still need to do a video of like Q&A for my locks. So here I am trying to get as little hair as I can. And just make do with what I got. I think I had my own quarantine SNS too, y'all, on my nails. I did record a video on that, but I don't know if I'm gonna record. I'm gonna uh, post it. Y'all gonna think I'm crazy. But I did, I did my own dip. <laughs> Look pretty good from what y'all can see, huh? I know. Thank you.
I really did not have enough hair to be doing this, but for the sake of the video, I was trying. So once you kind of get them where you like it, I usually, like if I'm just wearing a headscarf, I usually just um, still set my edges with the scarf, like an edge scarf, and then I do my makeup or whatever, get dressed, and then I put my scarf on on top. But, just doing the video, so I'm not gonna do all that. So this is the first, like, turban that I've ever gotten. It's already pre-rolled or wrapped or whatever, which is awesome. It's just like a hat, like, I got it, I used to have this hair and health expo here in Birmingham. And I got these then, um, while well, I was natural actually. So I, I got these way before I was even locked. So that's how I wear it. Y'all look so cute. Like this is my first one. I always get so many compliments. People are so, always so amazed. Like, oh, you don't have to tie it? No, off and on, off and on. But it's so perfect. And so this next one I have, I think I also got it from the Hair and Health Expo. And it's just a different color. I love how stretchy they are. Like this, these were a godsend. <laughs> like these were a godsend because it's so cute. I love turban. And that's how I wore it. Cute, cute, y'all. Cute, cute. They're so clutch. Like, so clutch. So after I got these and I got locked, I was like, oh, I need a black one and a tan, but I didn't know where I got it from. I did not know, so I had to Google it. And so I found this uh, Instagram page called My Sweet Embrace, and that's how I wore it. The black one is my favorite, like, because it's black. I wanted neutral colors, so I went to My Sweet Embrace, and they have so many different colors. I'm going to show you the Instagram and everything at the end. And this is not a sponsored video, but I love theirs as well. Theirs are a little thicker. Um, it's a different material than the ones that I just showed you, um, like the turquoise and then the red one. But these are so thick. It's I think the the little bun part of the turban is a lot bigger, but still cute. Both of them are cute. Um, and that's how I wore it as well. That's me at the hospital. Most of these pictures are me from the hospital or, or class or whatever. But yeah, aren't they cute? You could wear it like to the front, to the side, to the back. I mostly wore mine like to the front or to the back. It just depends on what you're going for. So now for my hats and my, I don't know what you call the other one. I guess I would say or sweater hats or whatever. So my hair is so short, but with the hats, I leave a little bit out in the front. And so this, I got this way before my locks as well. See, I'm a hoarder low-key, y'all. I, I hang on to stuff, and look, it come in handy. It come in handy. So I love this one. It's like an ombre kind. It's like, it's like a golden yellowish, and then it kind of turns into like a cream color right in the middle. And so that's how I wore it. Of course, in the picture, my locks weren't just freshly retwisted, so they're butted a little bit, but still cute nonetheless. I wish I had more hair to make it fluff out a little bit in the back, but... Again, cute, simple style for people, you know, that are going through this, the baby stage. And not only the baby stage, but the baby stage with really, really short locks. My locks were so short when I started off. So, I tried to do a little trick. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah. So, this is like my little, I like to call it my little choo-choo hat. I like to call it my little choo-choo hat because it's like a conductor hat, right? It's so cute. I think I got this from Forever 21, but I was in like another state. It was like a big old outlet. And so I got this. I didn't know where I was gonna wear it, but look, it came in handy, y'all. I love this one. It's, it's different. I don't think I ever wore anything like this, but I liked it. I wore it for like this Galentine's event that I went to and it fit my outfit perfectly. Look at me. So, so cute, y'all. So cute. But anyway, y'all, let me know in the comments. How do y'all rock y'all baby lock stage uh, locks? Like, what do y'all do? Do y'all go out without anything on your head? Do you like just let them be free? Let me know. Make sure you also subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think, y'all. So this is Sweet Embrace. This is their Instagram and then their website. Everything is under like $25. Again, it's not sponsored. 
But let me know in the comments what y'all think. Thank y'all so much for watching. Until next time. Bye.